Welcome back Guardians! In this video I want to talk about the exotic Kvastov and how to get it and a guide for all the locations of the parts, the pages and everything you need to do from start to finish with this exotic quest to get the Kvastov. Before we get into it though, if you guys could drop a like, we're going to put a like aim goal of 600 likes on it for you guys to hit. If you can, that would be awesome. But let's get into how to get it. Now, first and foremost, you have to get Kvastov 76 schematics. Now you can do this one of two ways. If you have the Kvastov, the original one that you get on a fresh character, all you have to do is dismantle that weapon and you will get the schematics. So if you have done that, jump to the time on screen now and carry on with the quest line. If you do not have the original Kvastov, there is some work you have to put into the game to be able to access the Kvastov schematics. So first and foremost, you need to be able to patrol on the Plague Land. So you have to go through the quest and story missions to open up the patrol. Once on patrol, you need to find a brood mother, which is a hive witch. You find her and you kill her. She can spawn randomly. I happen to find one pretty close to spawn where you spawn, go forward and turn right, and she's flying around there. Once you kill any brood mother, you will get a splicer intel relay. This is like a key to open something up further on into this quest to get these schematics. So you have to follow this route after you get the splicer intel relay. Spawn into the plague lands, drive forward and go right. You'll see where I enter into. You need to go through this door and follow it all the way around until you get back to the very, very start of the game. Meaning you have to travel back to where the Cosmodrome is through there go through the breach go all the way back to where the wall is and where you first get spawned into destiny as a character Once you get back to the start of the game, you will be inundated with enemies in the starting area where all the vehicles and cars are. You want to wipe them all out, kill everything around you. And if you wish to, you can use one of your splicer keys if you have one to go and unlock these lasers that you see 
on the side of the mountain kind of thing, the big rock that I walk into. If you go in there, there's two chests and there is the axe relic. Now you can use this axe relic to go to the catch and just destroy everything. You do not need to have the axe to do the mission. When I got there, I had a big ultra pilot servitor, but my friends didn't have the pilot servitor when they went there. I dismantled the Kvostov myself, so that's probably why the pilot servitor was there for me. Once you have killed all the enemies in the catch, you will be pointed towards a chest in the corner of the room. You go over there, you open it, and you get the schematics for the Kvostov 76G, I believe it's called. Now what you need to do is find pages and find the parts to the weapon. So for the pages, you can just kill any enemy on the Plaguelands. You need 10 pages. So as you're going around doing things, doing quests, you will get all of these things to drop for you as you go. Now, for the parts, there are three separate parts and you need to be on the Plaguelands patrol and drive yourself back to the Cosmodrome. Now, in the very first mission of the game, Restoration, you go and fight the big fallen captain and you claim your ship and you fly off into the sunset. That area is where you need to go to first. You need to drive all the way back to there, follow it through, you'll find a bunch of enemies and once you get towards the door, you'll see a triangle icon pointing towards where you need to go. Walk through that door and then to the left and underneath the metal stairs, there is the first parts. After that, you need to go back into the Cosmodrome and drive through as if you were going to the Sepix Prime Strike. Once you get to the area where you fight the three waves of enemies in the Sepix Strike, you want to go through that door and turn to the right. Now, as soon as you do, in the right hand corner will be the next set of weapon parts. Carry on through to where you fight the Walker Tank. And if you run straight forward and jump onto the building in front of you, you will see a destroyed bridge. And just to the left of that in front of the building, there is the final part for the Kvost stuff. Once you have all these things, you take it back to Shiro in Felwinter's Peak, and he will give you the next quest, which is a mission-based quest. So you go and you do a mission. I'm not gonna spoil it, but you fight a boss. Once you fight and kill that boss, you get the Kvostov and you get to use that Kvostov during the rest of that mission. After that, you go back to Shiro and he will complete the quest for you and you have your Kvostov. So I didn't want this video to drag on. If you go back and you see where I drive from the Plaguelands back to the Cosmodrome, you can use that route to get back to the Cosmodrome to be able to find the weapon parts. So I hope this helped you guys figure out how to get the Kvostov and be able to use it because it's an awesome, awesome weapon. And if it did help you, please consider hitting that like button. It helps me out immensely. Thank you so much for watching. I've been easy now and you guys have been awesome.